Hello there. So in our previous module, we found out how to find an equivalent resistance R in of this circuit, which was the ratio of the voltage, which is the test voltage divided by a current because of the test voltage. And we found the expression for that. So please refer to our previous model if you are new. And now this time we want to find an expression for the R out what is an R out? It is again the ratio of voltage divided by the current. Now, which voltage and which current? So you basically have to remove uh, the external voltage source, the external load that is RL connected between the pin collector and the ground here, across which we have connected this. And then after removing the RL, you need to apply a test voltage Vs, and because of that, the test current IO or output current that will flow into the circuit and take the ratio of Vs divided by IO. Okay. So to do that, we need to remove this RL. I will show you and make sure that for the input side, you will have a normal input signal source and you are uh, and you are the input current that will flow because of the applied input so uh, signal source. So, and the circuit is uh, for this model is as before. So you have this register RL collected to the collector pin of the transistor and the emitter register. This is ground and you have this base current to the base pin. You have collector current IC to the pin collector. And this is your emitter current to the pin emitter, okay and uh, you have this uh, plus v but when you draw the small signal model like this you need to connect this to the ground okay and here to the base you basically have an input signal because of that your input current will flow into the circuit so basically this is the circuit for which we have drawn the model like this and now our objective is to find the output resistance so let us try to do that so as you can see, I have connected the test voltage source Vs and because of that, the IO is flowing into the circuit. This current is nothing but my collector current and therefore collector current is equal to beta times IB. So basically I can apply a KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. Okay, so very simply, we can write the expression for the R out. So here we can write that uh, KVL, that is Vs will be IE times RE. So remember, this is the IC that is flowing through this register RE creating the drop and Vs will be equal to that. And then you can write IE is nothing but your uh, IB plus uh, beta times IB multiplied by RE. Right, so IB is nothing but IC divided by beta plus IC times RE, and you can take the IC out, it will be one by beta plus one RE, and this is your VS. Now, your IC is nothing but your output current IO, or IO is equal to IC, therefore, you can replace the IC with IO and take the ratio actually so this will be v as divided by i o which is your r out and that is equal to one plus one over beta times r e so if the beta is very very greater than one then your denominator is this term is neglected and your r out essentially is approximately equal to r e so that's it so you basically look at your circuit and the R out will be your emitter resistance. So higher the value of it, higher the output resistance, lower the value of it, lower the output resistance.